Welcome to Earth Humanimal. It's me, Aiko, and this video is about the lessons Peter and I learned in the six weeks of volunteering in Ecuador, in which we joined a small community of raw vegans to support a reforestation project and to learn about self-sustainability, permaculture, and natural living. The first thing that comes to my mind when I look back are the butterflies. Each one of them represent biodiversity, the diversity of life in its full beauty. They come in all shapes, sizes and colors, the colors of life, and they remind me that nature truly is the greatest artist creating these fairy creatures. To give you an idea about the work Peter and I did as volunteers, here's a little overview. We maintained banana trees, weeded, renewed a garden bed and planted carrots, potted seedlings, and the best part, we harvested tomatoes, wing beans, berries, papayas, bananas, bon and spinach. Working with the soil grounded us. Planting seeds, mulching around trees, thinking of their needs and witnessing the beginning of life enhanced our level of consciousness about nature's silent work. And it gave us an understanding of the efforts that are needed to grow food. While working within and with nature, we tried out the raw vegan diet for six weeks. It has been a challenging but incredibly rewarding experience. Being able to feed our bodies with the abundant nutrition of the plant kingdom, relearning to eat, blending in with nature, healing ourselves from the inside out has brought awareness to our natural selves and the care that it deserves. Super delicious. Can you show the outside? Sounds like a dragon. <laughs> Living in very basic conditions challenged our flexibility and ability to adjust, but after our experience in Haiti, it was a piece of cake. Living with little makes you humble, and at the end of the day, it's more about with whom you live, not with what. The landscapes that surrounded us have been breathtaking. Seeing the clouds hanging in between those hills, looking like broccoli, gave us an idea of how the world once looked like. Unfortunately, we also saw the deforestation that is done to create grass fields for cows to graze. This is when we understood, not only rationally but emotionally, how wasteful and senseless animal agriculture is from the environmental perspective. Sometimes we found ourselves stuck in a muddy path. But that's life, right? We walk on our paths, and sometimes the path feels solid and we can run effortlessly. And sometimes life rains on us, and regardless of our complaints, it continues to rain until the sky is empty. And we gotta walk through that mud, get stuck, panic, reach out, pull each other out of the dirt, and walk our lives step by step. Rain, 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 we're completely 
so. Yeah. Not easy, guys. No. Not easy. But we're almost there. We also understood that you could live in paradise, but if we'd have to share it with a toxic person, we'd leave. Communication is everything, if it's about communities, friendships, relationships. We all want to be heard, to be seen, to be understood, in the essence of ourselves. But without offering the same to others, it simply doesn't work. And we realized that we as spoiled humans always find a reason to be unsatisfied. But if we're honest, as long as we have people around us who we can connect and bond with, create our realities together with, celebrate our similarities but also differences, we will feel connected, valuable and secure. No money in the world can nourish your heart as much as words of kindness can. And now to the wonderful individuals that have crossed our path.
Thank you for watching this video and joining our journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Lots of love from Peter and me.